Welcome to a new Best Worst game ranking video. This time I am looking at the Super Mario Bros. series. Ranking from Best to Worst, just my personal opinion. And with that said, I definitely will say my opinion is going to be different than definitely a lot of people when it comes to Smash games. Since I don't play a huge amount of Smash, just from time to time in specific tiles, I've played more than others. So with that said, some I only have played a small amount so far, which is why maybe they're lower ranked, or my opinion's different than most people. With that said, enjoy the music in the background from uh, Smash 4. First coming in last place in 6th place is the debut, the original, Super Smash Bros. for the N64. Now, even though I still really like this game, it's one of my favorite N64 games of all time. Still in the Smash series, keep in mind it's a bit clunky by today's standards and everything, but it's still good for what it is, the debut of Smash. And it's a game I, on occasion, will pop in from time to time to play a little bit of, just to get a nostalgia fix. But with that said, comes in last place just because I feel the other games would take everything it would do and go much farther. And fifth place, this is going to be probably the most controversial, just about opinion. Coming in fifth place is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Sorry, but for me, but keep in mind, I haven't spent a lot of time with this game yet, so you have to keep that in mind. But for me, right now, Ultimate comes in fifth place, but that's just my personal opinion. And everyone has their own opinion on everything, especially here on YouTube. Coming in fourth place is a game I'm sure a lot of people, I'm not sure where people would have this, but for me, I think because I actually really enjoyed the game for what it was, for the ability to play with the giant handheld screen and stuff, but for me, coming in fourth place is Super Smash Bros. 4 for the Wii U. Comes in fourth place. I like this game quite a bit, and yeah, I enjoyed it more than two of the others. I, As I've said, I like Smash 4 quite a bit, probably more than a lot of other people. I know a lot of people have their favorites, whether it be Ultimate, Melee, whatever, it depends on your cup of tea and everything. But for me, I thought Smash 4 did a good balance between Melee and Brawl, mechanically speaking. But whatever. This game, I haven't played a huge amount of time on this, but I haven't played probably three or four times as much as Ultimate so far. And I still on occasion I'll play this just because I like playing Smash on the um, Wii U gamepad personally. I think that's the main reason I'll go back and forth with this game. Some of the others are a little bit hard just because of the nostalgia factor, but for me, Next, coming in 5th place, or sorry, 3rd place, and this is probably going to be a somewhat controversial pick, and that's fine, I'm used to having controversial opinions. Coming in 3rd place is Melee. Yes, this game has a nostalgia factor involved for me, and it's definitely a good game, don't get me wrong, it's solid, especially with the game mechanics is arguably the best Smash game in the series when it comes to combat mechanics and everything. It's definitely the most competitive. Uh, that's mm, I have nothing against, and that's why Melee is still very popular this day. It's still so highly regarded to any of pretty much the other Smash games. And it is an amazing game for the GameCube. There's a reason why this has become probably the most sought after of the series. Specifically by hardcore either GameCube fans or hardcore Smash fans. And I get where they're coming from, and I understand 100%. But for me, Melee comes in at third place. Coming in second place is definitely probably a somewhat controversial opinion, but that's fun. Even though... <clears throat> 
from one time or another, whatever. But for me, coming in second place is Smash 4 for the 3DS. Comes in second place. Why? Because one, it's on the go, it is super accessible, and it plays amazingly well on the 3DS. And that's one of the cool things about this game. It is completely mobile. And it is designed, obviously, for handheld use. And I think the 3DS does it pretty good. There's a reason why I got the DLC and stuff, of course, for this game. Because it's awesome playing with Cloud in this. Especially playing in mobile all the time. That's one of my favorite things about this specific game. Is playing... Anywhere, anytime you want, whenever you want to get a quick little smash fix, this is the best route to go. Also, I liked some of the soundtrack and some of the stages better in 3DS version over the Wii U version, personally. But with that said, everyone has their opinions on everything, but obviously, I really like Smash 4, because one got 4th place and one got 2nd place. But now you know, my favorite Smash game of all time... Even though I'm not the biggest fan of the console it's on, it doesn't change the fact. For me, coming in at number one, even though some people argue it's the worst Smash game, I completely disagree. For me, coming at number one is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. This game is awesome, and I wish it would get more love. It is arguably also, in my opinion, the best game of all time in the franchise when it comes to single-player content. That is where Brawl succeeds, and where I like Brawl over Melee. In the combat mechanics and everything, I think Brawl is probably the best overall, at least competitive. Uh, mechanically speaking, I really like uh, 4 for being a perfect balance of Brawl and Melee in the mechanics, but first place goes to Brawl, even though I think the combat mechanics are a little too simplistic in some areas. I like it because it's a very accessible game for people who have not played the series before. It's a great introduction to help get a lot of more casual fans, um, as well as, like I said, single player content, since I prefer playing a lot of my games by myself, single player. This is why the game comes at number one, because it has the most content for one person not needing a bunch of people playing at the same time. That is where this game succeeds and excels versus all the others in the series. But for me, that's it for best to worst list. In my opinion, the weakest is the N64, and in my opinion, the best is Brawl, though. I will say coming in a very close second is 4 on the 3 hits. But with that said, I'll see everyone next time. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel. Hopefully you enjoyed the Smash 4 music in the background. I'll see you again soon enough.